Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Most City Podcast, hosted by yours truly, took live from Most City Studios in the heart of Mo City, Texas. And y'all know what it is. This is the place where I try to politic with anybody passing through the Mo, anybody from the Mo, anybody got something cracking out here in the Mo, or you just coming through here to see what it is. And today, today I got I got I got a special guest in the building with me today. Uh uh I've been knowing a young man for a really, really, really long time. I watched him grow up in my hood coming up from a young man to, to a grown man now doing all kind of stuff man shout out to his older brother kicked it with him learned a lot of game from him i'm talking about one of one of deuce glenn legends uh uh dude been everything from a go mc to a go dj a uh, barber boy i got more jobs than a jamaican man dj <laughs> and my true feel man i'm talking about my homie little homie man cedric wade i call him go dj c money welcome to the lab bro appreciate oh, you pulling bro. up What's cracking, fam? Uh man, just trying to, you know what I'm saying? You know, do my thing out here, man. Got my air freshener, you know, trying to. I would say do my thing. That boy thing is a lot of things. No homo. <laughs> to my pause. But pause. dig this. <laughs> we'll, we'll start like with. Dad, say pause. <laughs> pause. We'll talk, Harlem, let's talk about Shout the... out to the Harlem, man. Harlem. Shout out Harlem. Boy got the uh, players air freshener. The Go DJC Money brand. I'm going to start there. I got a whole list of stuff on this tablet over here bro to talk to you about air freshener is one of them and since we got that live in front let's talk about that first like how long you been kind of pushing the air freshener how many fragrances you have those two questions let's start there first man i've been pushing the air freshener uh it started it started with my uncle man my uncle from uh from baton rouge louisiana okay you know so originally we from monroe louisiana from monroe but, but that's yeah. where the family from yeah okay monroe louisiana but really but my uncle relocated to baton rouge and then uh you know, he we've been hustling, he been hustling all his life, you know what I mean? So he uh he had an air freshener that he was hustling, but you know, back in the days and and then uh when the pandemic hit, I didn't have no money, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and I was out of work, so I was like He's like nephew, sell his air freshener. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. So Gotcha. Yeah, so it just kind of went went from there. I and so did he have all these fragrances at first? Or which what fragrances did he have? Oh uh, well, actually, he had uh, he didn't he he only had like uh cherry and strawberry. Okay, okay. So yeah. I had created all the other ones myself. Yeah, cherry, strawberry, the daddy, daddy. That's actually the one I got in my car. Is the daddy, daddy. One. Right. Uh, then you got the orange, you got the blue magic, and then okay, but all this was players there freshening, which is slightly different from from the go DJC money air freshening. Right? right, right. So talk to me about the difference. Where I know this is a new line that you created. Right. Well, the difference is, uh, I kind of wanted to, you know, what I'm saying broadcast, you know, show off the the Go DJ, you know, the Go DJ brand. Shout out, you know, Go DJ High C, CEO of the Go DJs, Go MC Quay, CEO of the Go MCs. I just wanted to kind of, you know, brand, you know, brand that, you know, what okay. I'm saying because I've been around the Go DJs and I look up to them. You know, they they real good, you know, good good, good people. people, man. Got gotcha, yeah. you, got you. Okay, so 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 okay, so coming up with that air freshener was really paying paying homage to them. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go. That's what's that. up. Yeah. So let's start there. Let's start there because I know that I know that you was a go MC before a go DJ and 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 MC Quay. Shout out to you, Quay. You know what I'm saying? Was definitely uh um uh, uh the catalyst <laughs> for that. So how how y'all meet? Like where that relationship kind of started from? Uh, Quay was like a brother, man. Uh, when my brother was in jail, uh, you know, what I'm saying my brother was in jail, mm -hmm. I was at TSU. And uh, Quay kind of, you know, put it, you know, put it, you know, looked he looked, out, looked out for me, man. And then ever since then, you know, he he didn't want to see me get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, he put some flyers in my hands. Mm. And I start, I start passing out flyers with and him. And that's kind of how the event prom promotions kind of got into you, I'm assuming, because yeah. you yeah. still promote to this yeah. day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. To this day, yeah. To this day, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It just, I, I was excited, man. You know, when it was exciting, you know what I'm saying, to do something that you, all your friends don't do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing something different. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, passing flies out for events that, you know, they was making money, a lot of money on, you know what I'm saying? But I was just learning. Yeah, you was learning the you game. Know, okay, so game. Quay kind of yeah. brought you in at that point to really just help yeah. with promotion. Yeah. And I'm assuming that's what kind of led to you becoming the Go MC. Yeah. Or, or yeah. was there was there a different kind of process? Well, that? well, well. Now, actually, what led me to become a go MC? I wasn't a go MC yet. I was just a, a hustler, passing flies out, promoting. Mm -hmm. What made what inspired me to be a go DJ? I mean, a go MC 
is uh, I used to see Quay, you know, I used to see him doing his thing, and he was real good at he just he's real still good at what he does, you know. He's mm -hmm. at uh, Dream Bar and Lounge right now. Okay. Shout out, shout okay. out to Dream Club Dream Bar and Lounge, you know, what I mean, he's still an MC, he's still good at it. I just, you know, I just always like, you know, I, I admired the way he can get the crowd going, okay, you know what I'm saying. So it made me want to be a master of all shamanas as well. That's what that is. Yeah, MC. Yeah, MC. Okay. Oh, so that him him doing it inspired you to, to kind of go down that same yeah, path. Yeah. All right. Well, talk That's to right. me about the <clears throat> the transition from from MC to DJ. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm assuming a, a meeting or relationship with High C had to kind of happen around that point. Well, 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 well. No, actually, it was a uh, Go DJ Unstoppable. My homeboy Alan Alan Whiteman. I, I went mm -hmm. to elementary school with him. Go and, DJ uh, Unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of laced me. He laced me up. You know what I'm saying? He, like I said, he's from he's originally his family is originally from Grenada, mm -hmm. from you know overseas, and uh, he was DJing, and I was like, man, he used to come to my house, and I say, man, you know what? I want to learn how to DJ, and he was like, okay, you do, and then he started showing me, showing the, me, showing me the ropes, and and I was like, well, shit, I'm already a go MC, you know what I'm saying? So we, I met over high C, and I had said, hey, high C, can I be a go DJ? And he was like, it was around like Christmas time. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna bless your game. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you an early. I'm gonna give you a Christmas present. Guess what? You you can you be you could be a go DJ. He and I'm like, in. he put me in just like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So when he put me in the, that position, I started you know cranking it up. You know, as a go DJ. And so around what time? What what year was this? Uh, this was like around 2000, maybe like 2000. Uh. Eight, maybe 2000, like, 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 maybe 2017. 17. Yeah. Somebody at my door up there. Over there. Yeah. Oh, this ain't good. That's a dude that's, he, he, I'm looking for a job. Tell, tell him um, I'm in an interview. <laughs> He over there to the I looked at the camera was like, oh, that's the building over there. <laughs> so really, so really, you've been trying to get in touch with him. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know. <laughs> he worked yeah. out. Look, he worked out because I'm trying to work it. I'm going to get a job up here, dog. I saw him, I was like, bro, somebody told me about you. I need to get a job. <laughs> what kind of job? What, did he like, did he tell you a certain position? Janitor. Jan you know, okay, just, yeah, because he fired the other dude. Where? What? Man, he, so he didn't fire. It didn't it been like four different maintenance crews here since I've been here. What are you buying from? The first niggas need to go. Them niggas was lazy. Like, <laughs> then, man, bathroom wasn't clean, wasn't there, toilet paper wasn't in there, stuff Dang. like that. The other niggas was cool, but I think they were just checking them. Like, he didn't want to pay them niggas all right. Oh, okay. And so, and, but then they was like, I, I, just, I, just, I need a part time. You said they was like, what? I think they was trying to finesse him as well. Oh, okay. But then the current dude been pretty good. You know what I'm saying? He's a black dude? No, he, uh, I don't know what he is. Oh. I don't think he's Hispanic. I oh, think okay. he's like something else. He don't oh. say much, he be quiet. But you know, he walk around, he clean up. He gonna cool. probably gonna come in here and get the trash later. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, right. Okay, but no. So, and when I had interviewed Mo City Vegan and then my other people, uh, trying to get a food truck in the lot, and so I had talked to him about it. I called him in the parking lot, and I just talked about it. We talked about it for a minute. He was like, "Yeah, I'm cool with it, bro. Just do what you got to do." Right. And so then I talked to the food trucks, and they was like, "Hell yeah, we'll come." And so I ain't had no contact on him to run the play and i didn't want to just run the play without authority you know what i'm saying right right and so when she when he, i looked at the dog like hold on that's the nigga <laughs> <laughs> knocking that's at the nigga my you've been door. looking for <laughs> i've been purposely he ain't been in the building right, he, right. he got he got other properties he owned he got own properties in cali he owned oh, another damn. property in another state and no so he's just not here I, all the time. I didn't get money, bro. <laughs> he owned he owned his property. The nigga paid uh paid paid what was it five million for this building? For this bit, damn. So that nigga during the pandemic. He, so during the pandemic, so he's a multi-millionaire. Yeah, he got it. Damn, he got it. And so uh, yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, damn. But, but look, you were just doing what you supposed to do. <laughs> now niggas recording, nigga. Just, uh, who, who the fuck is you, nigga? Damn. Application here, nigga. You show, nigga. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, so, so. Both top me now. Yeah, you damn. never know who be out here, bro. You never know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's so wow. And y'all heard the play. I don't know. He heard. I'm like, so he just gave me authority to say, run a whole food truck festival. No, in the parking lot. You need a diesel? 
Hey, say I'm the very hey bro. Look, Chuck, look, you need a DJ now. <laughs> You need a DJ? <laughs> oh man. Say, so, so let me know, bro. Oh, uh, so so we was talking about we was talking about your relationship with MC Quay, right? And how and how uh that kind of led you to being a go MC and how he really looked out for you during the time when when your bro was incarcerated. And so uh shout out to you, Quay. You know what I'm saying? For 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 being for being the big homie when when boys be needing the big homie. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. And then right. we talked about how how um how that kind of transition to you being a go DJ and I see on Christmas around Christmas time, uh, 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 giving you that, giving you that, 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 that play. And so, so with the DJ stuff, let's kind of hang out there for a minute. What, um, what, what do you enjoy the most about DJing? Is it, is it picking the songs or is it the crowd control? Like, what do you like about being a DJ? Uh, I like I like the crowd control, man. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I like I like how the girls be on you. You know what I'm saying? They be asking you, can they can I can I request this song? And they, you know they be smelling all good, beautiful queens. You know, you know. I, I mean, I, that's the I, I like that. You know, I like the women. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I mean, I, I ain't gonna say I'm a ladies man, but I like beautiful yeah. women. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the part of being a go DJ, man. I, I mean, you get a lot of accolades. You know, you get a lot of benefits yeah. to it. You know what I mean? And 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 you get the crowd rocking. You know, everybody love the DJ. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Without the DJ, the party don't. You know, ain't no, ain't no party. You know what I'm saying? So, so he's into got the DJ because uh uh like the crowd control and you love the ladies. That though, that's not like a bad L, reason like to L be L a DJ. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like L Cool J, <laughs> <laughs> not a bad reason yeah. to be, be a DJ. Uh, so so let's talk about the music for a second because I know one of the one of the most important jobs of the of the disc jockey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is the music and that crowd control only come with the music that you play and and the things that you say. And so how how is your music selection right? Like like you more uh uh top forty or you like H Town Classics, or you uh like what what type of music you like to play? Man, to be honest with you, shout out Go DJ Corey. He's the president of the Go DJs. Go DJ I Corey Lamar. DJ Cor. Go, Go DJ Corey. Yeah. Okay. Go DJ. I had uh I had a flat, like what they call it? Flat, flat drive. Yeah, flat drive, man. And uh I mailed it off to DJ Corey, man. Uh, he in Louisiana, he in uh Sweet Sweet Thing Streetport. Okay. He said he told me, he say, say, uh, say, bro, the best thing to do. To get all the songs you need is mail me this flat drive. So I put it in the mail. I mailed it to him, mm-hmm. shipped it to him. He loaded me up, and then he shipped it back to me. So I can play anything, bro. I mean, I'm, I can play any song. Like I'm, I mean, whatever you want, whatever you request, I'm playing. You got I'm, it. I'm like, I'm like, see, go DJ Unstoppable. He's a he called himself an international DJ. So I'm like an international DJ, bro. Okay. I can play anything. Yeah. Oh, so he hit you one of them jump drives that got uh uh yeah twenty thirty thousand songs on right. there forty thousand songs on right. there right 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 yeah. that's what's up yeah so 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 apparently you good with your hands right and I say that because you're a DJ which requires hand and eye coordination and logic and all of that but you also cut hair right, right. right. <laughs> you also cut hair which requires precision and skill you know what I'm saying and, and that same hand eye coordination you know what I'm saying and so. So talk about those two totally different skill sets, <laughs> uh, and, and how you do both. Like, like where you couldn't hear it right now. Uh, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a salon, man. Uh, called uh, uh, Creative Fingers by Nate. Creative Fingers yeah, by Nate. Creative Fingers by Nate. I just got over there. You just got over there, Creative. That's that's out here. That's twenty thirty four. Yeah. This is Parkway. Yeah, twenty two thirty four. You know what I'm saying? That's over there by 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 the churches, right? Yeah, 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 right. Okay, yeah, right by the church. Yeah. Creative fingers by Nay. Okay, you over there chopping up ball fades, taper fades, yeah, all right. of that stuff. All right, y'all Same watching play. this right now, man. You in Mo City, you trying to get cut, man. Get up with Go DJC Money. He also a barber, and he right off two and two thirty four giving chops. Man, so you be doing a lot, bro. I be swiping through the gram, and you got one of them profiles that that come across my page a lot. Right, you know how how the IG, algorithm, yeah, the IG algorithm work. You may follow thousands of people, but out of the top forty people that you engage with, you know, you don't see about twenty of they post. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see about twenty of them people. Them only posts you are gonna see. And uh-huh. then as you swipe the other algorithm, dig this. You are gonna see, you are gonna see post, post, and those might be from people you know. Then you'll see a suggested follow, mm. and then you are gonna see a sponsored. 
the suggested follow is somebody you don't know or don't follow. That's why they suggested that you follow them, right? <laughs> and then there's the sponsored, which is an ad, right? Mm. And so it's going to be post, post, follow, sponsor, post, post, follow, sponsor, post, post. And so just next time you swipe in, pay attention to that. Yeah, so I never knew how the uh, algorithm worked. So I'm, I'm glad you're breaking it down to me. <laughs> and so, and so that, as you swipe in, you're going to notice them. Like, okay, yeah, that's somebody that I follow. That's somebody that I follow. Who is that? It's kind of cool. They pretty re- they pretty relevant. Like the suggested follow be because people you follow follow them, or you didn't engage with something similar, right. and so they feel like you would as well. And then the sponsor that'd be somebody who targeting people like you, and so it'd be kind of relevant as well, right? Right. But those two posts <laughs> that come from the people I actually follow, most of the time yours is always one of them. <laughs> yours is always one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this. CJ, see money active. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, it's sometimes it's from your page. Sometimes it's from the uh, 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 Mo City Movie promotional page. Uh, but either way, it's, it's usually one of your... Or the players' air freshener page. Or the air freshener page. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing, though? No, it's, 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 it is what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I ain't going to say it's a bad thing. Um, um, but you may want to consider using the pages for, for different stuff. Right. right. I, I do. I do. This, that's my lane. I do digital marketing for a living. Right. So right, if I'm right. gonna give you some some strategy right now, yeah, I would say because all three of the pages they get they get activity, they get visits, they get. But you hitting them with the same content, and so I would probably start diversifying what I'm posting on each one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I know. I, I know. I've been posting a lot of them chicks, but see, the reason why I do that is to get it. Kind of like a. Uh, it's like a, a, a what they call it, like a trap for the, for the uh, you know, for the guys who. Who like looking at chicks, you know what they call it? Uh clickbait. There you go. No, right. Well, it's clickbait. Thirst, it's, bait, thirst trap. Thirst trap. Uh, there you go. Okay. Cause see, when the when they see the chicks, then they're gonna automatically tune into your Instagram. So that they that, that brings followers as well. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. Um, in in theory, right? That sound correct. Uh are you do you notice an increase in followers when you do that? Yes. Okay. A tremendous amount. You do. Yes. So when you share them, you know, guys like beautiful chicks, man. Mm-hmm. So you, you know what I'm saying? Guys like beautiful chicks. All right. So here go the additional piece of strategy I give you, and you can have this one free. Make sure you politic it with them chicks too. Oh, I am. Because I'm pretty sure they getting followed. I'm po- yeah, they are. I'm politicking with them. Okay, great. I politic yeah. with them. Yeah. That's what's not up. all of them, but I politic with the ones I, you know. And, and so look, you you ask, you saying that you answered you answered JT question. You know what I'm saying? JT asked me that the other day. He was like, bro, why said be always posting chicks? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so that's why I tease you because it's running up followers for the different profiles <laughs> and it's helping them chicks get followers as well. <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> All right, so so we was, <laughs> that's what's up. So so I, next on my list, I got a whole list of questions over here, man. Uh uh, I'm gonna jump back up to the top for a second. Shout out to Deuce Glenn, you know what I'm saying? Hunters Glenn one and two. You know what I'm saying? That's a neighborhood. Oh, Shout out to Millberry Street. Shout out to, to Whipple Wheel, Thorn Thorn Reese Wood. Shout, Shout out to Thornbrook. Yeah. Shout out to whole uh Reese Wood. Shout out to whole 500 block, uh Dale Wood. Uh just just the whole nine, right? Shout out to to to, to Deuce Glen Park, Nedro, and, and 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 the whole gang. Everybody, I'm not about to start naming names. Shout out to the whole Deuce Glen as the whole a whole Deuce man. man. Uh but if you can for a moment, we'll just talk about your time in the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's obviously where where boys kind of developed that. Uh, and that was pre TSU, you know what I'm saying? That's before ACC. This is this is high school time, little school time. So if you elementary can, time, elementary time. So 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 just if you can talk about your time in the Deuce, uh, who you kind of kicked it with, shout out to Freak and and the boys who was on your side, you know what I'm saying? And, and what that was like. I mean, bro, it was like you know I was always a little homie, you know, a little brother coming out the mo- come out of Hunters Man, man. And, uh, you know, my brother already had you know made a name for himself, so. Yes, he did. So it was already a lot of love, you know, just from that. You Shout know what I'm saying? Parlay, he yeah. tuned, he and Lock Solutions. Yeah, yeah amazing Solutions. hands, cleaning service, all that. Yeah. Shout out, bro. Yeah, it was just like a already a like a, a, a you know, some some love, you know, for my brother, you know, putting mm-hmm. it down already before me. And you know, and uh basically uh when it came down to it, you know, when he went to jail, I had to start putting it down myself. So, you know, it's just is our hood love, you know, hood, you know, the hood looked out for me, you know, even in the hard times and the bad times, you know, the good times too, you know. Yeah. Uh shout out Buck, you know. I mean one time I was at the ridge. <laughs> shout out to Buck. 
I want to talk about the Ridge and uh, some cats jump fly with me. Mm-hmm. And and Buck was like, "Hold on, that's my little brother." You know what I'm saying? And, you know we they they go they gonna ride for you. Five hundred gonna ride with you. You no, know you from the hood. And, and I was also in a step group too. Well, the step uh, group. It, it was called Esquires. So okay. Oh yeah, y'all was in the in, with the with pretty boys with the suits so on. Well, they call us pretty boys. We was actually uh just a dance crew, man. We well, we, we like we like to look you know play. No, no, forget it. Just fly. Yeah, that's no, no cap. That's no cap. Yeah. But I said that because. Like I remember Esquires. When I was at the Ridge, we wasn't Esquires. We was trapping. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And so right, right. they always pretty boys to us because we were street niggas. But you, you know, know you know who started that? Uh, Eric Jones from my hood. Uh, he stayed next door to Swab House Records. Shout out, shout out, uh, Tony Draper, mm-hmm. Swab House Records. He stayed on on 1800 block, and uh, and Eric Jones started a group called K Sock Q. That was the first uh, step. Hey, you talking about Freak? Freak. That was okay. the first step group that ever existed at, at Really Rich High School. So K I Q was and the then, first group, first step. K I Q K-Sci-Q. was the first step group that ever existed at Willow Ridge. Right. They had they stepped in purple and they had purple canes. Yeah, I remember. I remember him with Shout the out purple. Officer, Officer Hunt. Know about it. Officer Hunt? He's a he's a, a, a he was in the group too. All right, y'all. So if y'all watching this right now, when y'all post this, I need you to post in the comments and, and, and verify what what C Money saying right now. K, what's the name of a step group? K Sci Q. K Sci Q was the first step group at the Ridge. This is, and 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 Freak started. It. Shout out to E Jones. And so uh, this had to be nineties. Yes, nineties. And Officer Hunt was in it as well. Officer Hunt, he's uh he's cool with zero. Mm-hmm. He, you know, he's from you know Mo City. He was in the group as well. Okay. And um, uh, after them, uh, guy about a, a guy named uh, Noomo R Holiday. Uh, that's Ned Homeboy. Okay. No more how that he brought Esquires from uh, Westbury to Really Ridge, and something happened with the money situation. Mm-hmm. So uh, the 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 current well the after him it was a guy named Carlos. That's my Esquire brother Carlos, uh, in uh, Princeton. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. was they was like in the band. It started off as a as a band group, and then I think uh, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, kind of what I remember. It, 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 it was, was. was in the band hall with it, and it was, yeah, it was that sort it of. It started thing. as a band thing. Then Omar Holiday, something about the money or whatever situation, he uh he stopped. You know, he was he had went to another high school, and then then Princeton and Carlos picked it up from there. And then when I got okay. there, it was. It was more like, you know, like you say, pretty boys, but we was on some players stuff. That's yeah, why I, I players out for, we had the chicks. You know what I mean? I'm dancing on stage like like the digital underground, like Tupac. You know, I'm in the background mm-hmm. dancing. And so you're talking about Nedro, right? And Freak, that's when I got to the Ridge. That's what I remember. My freshman year at Willow Ridge was, was 93. You know what I'm saying? And so when I got there, I remember seeing Freak and Ned on stage dancing. Right, yeah, that's you know what, what they, 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 they were break dancing, they, right? They were right. house music and break right. dancing and, and, right. and all of that. And so right. that, that's what I remember. Pip Bradley's with them boys doing that. Right, right, right. Yeah, and then so what happened was I got to Really Ridge and uh, I met a cat named Billy Hunter. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy, he, uh, he's out of uh, Ridgegate, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, I asked Billy, I say, uh, Billy, uh, we was at football practice. Uh, right, I was a freshman playing football, and uh, he said, "Man, for the Ridge, for the Ridge." Okay, and he said, "After this, bro, I'm finna go to a a, a Esquire uh pledge practice. I mean, a play a pledge meeting." I was like, "Bro, what is that?" And he said, "Bro, just follow me." And I followed him over there mm-hmm. to the uh Esquire pledge meeting. Pledge meeting, and uh, by the guy named Brock G. R. P. He passed away. Man, man, R. P. To Brock, man. I yeah, mean. Brock G. Uh, he said, "Man, go get a, go get a, uh, go get some uh." Go get a, a fence, a, a fence. A, you know, go get a piece of wood off a fence. Mm-hmm. I went and grabbed the biggest piece of wood off the fence, like a jackass. Yeah. I didn't know what he was going to do with I was it. about to bend over, bro. He about to pop you this Man, thing. he bent me over and popped the shit out of me with the motherfucking <laughs> stick with the with the fence, bro. And then I was online. Mm-hmm. And oh, make so, a, you, so at this point, you pledged. It's a pledge you think. So, yeah, you pledged. Yeah. So make a long story short. <laughs> make a long story short. I'm not. I'm, I, I had. It was a bunch of freshmen online. Mm-hmm. All the freshmen dropped. The line they sent me, I was the only freshman that crossed that line. That was fall nine seven. I was the only freshman that crossed that line. All the other, I was the ace dog too. I was the littlest fall one. Fall ninety seven, you was a freshman. Fall ninety seven, I was a freshman. Man, I was the littlest one. Bro, and so I we wouldn't have to no time together then. No, because 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 summertime of ninety seven, I was graduate. Are you up? <laughs> yeah, and so come fall, right. I was not there. Right. See, when I was there, yeah, because like B and two. Then was my young homies when I was right, there. Right, I used right, to kick right. it with, with, with they brothers. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, chunk right. dog. You know what I'm saying? Chunk he was my big homie at the Ridge. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Wayne too. Will Comir, my big homie at the Ridge. R.P. Lil Wayne too. R.P. Worm. 
Daniel, uh, RP, uh, all my man, partners. Come on, Rip Deuce Glenn, man. Elmo yeah. DeWitt, bro. Oh, Elmo. E, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, right. so, so, but yeah, Will, Will and, and, and Chunk and all them was kind of my big homies at the Ridge, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so, and so, and then I looked after their little brother. Shout out to two. Shout out to B. Yeah, and shout then out to two. Shout out to B. Ran with it after that, like you know what I'm saying. By the time you got there, them niggas, man, you know they was <laughs> man, man. All I remember is that when I got to the ridge, I know they had the uh, they had the slabs, man. Yeah. They had they had the six two sixes, and they was like, double dating them, and I'm like. And they had the rims. I'm like, hold on, man. With the screens and shit. Like, it's so, so. I'm like, can I ride, man? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The boys, the boys took it and ran with it. They man. took it and ran and with it for real. And they, they still, still run, man. Up, up. Yeah. Shout out to, shout out to, they shout up, up, to, yeah. to, to 500 block. They up, up. 500 man. block, man. They doing their thing. Man, 500 block always show me love, man. Real talk. 500 block. Yeah. Okay, so so you was at the Ridge. And then that's when you kind of got into Esquire. And kind of apparently... Got into that kind of game, which eventually led you to to Quay and, and down this whole path. Yeah, but because you know, um, uh, um, uh, my my one of my big dogs, uh, Vincent Roberts, man, he was my Esquire, but I don't know if you know Vincent Roberts, but he that name sounds so familiar. He's Kenneb, you know Kenneboo. Mm-hmm. He Kenneboo, uh, little little cousin. Okay. So Vincent, uh, you know, he was always like I looked up to him like a brother, man. That's another guy I looked up to like a brother. Him and Eddie B. Eddie B was like the lead dog on the step, you know, step team. Okay. And uh Vincent was more like a uh he was a hype man at really Ridge. He was real hype. You know, he had all the, you know, like he'll do the he'll do the events and he'll be the like the leader of okay. everything. So I'm looking up to him doing that with the mic. And then I get to TSU and I'm like, man, I want to do something like that. And then that's when the play came with MC Quay with the flies and all gotcha. that. Okay, boom, cool. And then we went from there. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. So yeah. So- Man, y'all tuning into the Mo City podcast, man. It's your boy Chuck, man. I'm in here politicking with Go DJ, C Money. You know what I'm saying? One of the Deuce Glenn finest. Uh, uh, man, we in here just talk chopping it up about some throwback Mo City stuff, man. About Go DJs, about cutting hair, my bro into a little bit of everything. Got an entrepreneurial spirit. Players air freshener available right now at the barbershop and in his DM. Hit him up. He gonna pull up on you. With a bottle of it, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Mobile, 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 mobile barber, barber, too, man. I hit you two for one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll put up and cut your hair and hit you with the spray. <laughs> hit you with the spray. <laughs> pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, that boy Dave Dad say, pause. <laughs> Shout out Harlem. Shout out to my Harlem people, man. Bro, so, so what's up with the what's up with the UPS though? Oh, man. I'm asking, bro, because, like, I'm thinking about the stuff. I, you be having jobs, bro. Like, like he posted, like, boy, <laughs> boy was at an event DJing. <laughs> on Friday, and then on Saturday, posted up with the whole UPS store uniform on, taking packages. I, I thought I thought it was a joke, and then he was like, "Nah, bro, I'll be, I'll be working there too." <laughs> yeah, so, so like, yeah, no, man, I just. I just like hustling, man. It's just you know, it's my nature. I need a job, bro. So I, they was hiring. Like I got this application right here to work up here, bro. As a janitor, dog. I'm a I'm a work, bro. I just like working, man. Oh, I like man. I like making money, man. That's why my name go DJC Money. Straight up, you know what I'm saying. I like the way that paper feel when it folds up, man. I don't like to be broke. I like to make money. Man, like say, I like the way that you know paper feel when it fold up. Look, yeah, I like man. the way it feel when it's stacked. I feel Already the same way. Stack don't fold up. Shout out to the to leader stacks. Tuesday has a lot of name. I like that. Yo, stack. Leader stacks, bro. Leader stacks. Yeah, that's another uh, legend. That check out uh, leader stacks, man. He got some uh, albums coming out. Well, he got an album coming out, and like I said, that's one of my other you know legendary partners from the mo. Man, he been doing his thing with the music thing for a while, man. I like man, the way- you know, and I'm all about I'm all about the 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 next generation, right? Right. And so, so shout out to Stax. Right. Nothing but love for you, Stax. Affiliated soldiers all day. Affiliated you know soldiers. that. Shout bro. out, Will. Yeah. You know that. So please, so please don't take nothing offensive by what I'm about to say next. It ain't about Stax, bro. And I love Stax. It's about Stiff Gang. <laughs> Go check out Young Stiff. That's his son. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah Stiff. You know what? King Stiff. Hey, man, bro, nice, bro. He dropping a bunch of songs. And they nice, bro. He can spit. Like, I like his production choices. And I know Pops is kind of assisting there. That's why, that's right. why I'm poking at him. But, yeah. like, like I like, I like, I like his sound. He's good. He, he's good, yeah, bro. He nice, hey, bro. Hey, I've been, I got a couple of his uh, tracks on my DJ. I've been DJing mm-hmm. at, like, parties. I bring his music up. I bring Affiliated Soldiers music up. And also, man, I just want to say, it's a lot of talent in most of the period, like the bad actors. We got a documentary coming out. We're going to shed light on all the bad actors, uh, faculty, 
Street Military, you know, shout out Crea Run. You know, they got a lot mm -hmm. of history in the music industry. Killer Clan, they got a lot of history in Crea Run, man, as yeah. well. You know, I got a lot of friends on Crea Run. Uh, Jason McQueen, uh, uh, my homeboy, uh, A-Ro on the Beretta Court, T. Fetty. So I just want to, you know, Jabari Williams, I've lost Quail. I just kind of want to highlight like most cities. Yeah, time in you know Run, bro. Like, I'm just yeah. playing all day. But, man, shout out to my homie, uh, Tetrin, man. I used to spend a bunch of time in, in, in Quail Run at Tetrin Crib, bro. Hunting mm -hmm. dog. And then I even, uh, hunting dog, hunting dog. He stayed on hunting oh, dog. Oh, yeah, that's hunting dog. Street. Yeah, that's the street, man. <laughs> hunting so, dog, that's what's up. Yeah, in Quail Run, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I used yeah. to live off of Quail Park, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I used to uh, rent a crib out there, bro. So, oh, that's man, live, shout bro. out to the whole, whole yeah, Mo City. Mo so, City. that that's may up. be what the project we need to work on, bro. That's what I was going to do, like, bro. Like uh, uh, a documentary. No, not that. Oh. On the music side. On the music side. Oh. Because you, it's a bunch of artists out here just in the boat. You know what I'm saying? And so, you might want to start doing like a, uh, uh, you were telling me that I need to be like the the go DJ, uh, like do like a DJ Khaled type of mix or something. You were saying, well, when drop like I don't know something like a Mo City mixtape. That's what I'm gonna do, or, or something like that. Where, and they, we probably drop a monthly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out, oh my matter of fact, shout out B uh, B Fetty man. Uh, he he he's in a group called Lost G's. Mm -hmm. The Lost G's. He the one that gave my first ticket to the Chris Crew. Well, my first. It was my first concert I went to the Chris Cross concert mm -hmm. at the Arena Towers, bro. He say said, come to my house. I came to his house. He gave me a free ticket to go to the see Chris Cross, bro. <laughs> Chris Cross, bro. Shout, shout out to Fetty, man. Real talk, bro. But you might you might want to work on that, bro. Yeah. And you can you can come up here and produce that. I ain't tripping, right? But bet, like, bet. but like a a a, a, a mixtape just featuring. And they're not even a mixtape these days. It's more like a playlist, right? Because right. like I, I don't, most people don't own CD players. So it's so, so. much talent, man. <laughs> Shout out Rixie. I mean, it's so many. Fatal so Boy, Fatal like, like, Boy, man. Rixie Manning, man. Yeah. My, my day one, man. It's so much talent out of most city, man. I mean, you, the list goes on and on. No. <laughs> Low leader, so, so low leader. So, she's doing that thing. She's yeah, up here you know, being politicking yeah. with me. Napoleon Complex out right now, right. streaming on all platforms. So, so what? What you? Where you find yourself? Men's Fragrance, your home for 100% authentic men's cologne. We carry high-end fragrances like Creed, YSL, Gucci, Polo, and more at prices way below retail. Order online at mens-fragrance.net. That's mens-fragrance.net. All orders come with free shipping. Men's Fragrance, smell good for less. happier at bro is it is it behind the, the mixing board or is it, it standing up cutting hair like where you like because because cutting hair brings a certain joy to men like when it, you know the joy yeah. you feel when he get out the barber chair right that that fresh cut right there that moment only lasts that day you know what i'm saying right you gotta come back you, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta come, come back, back right so, but and, and, and i know a bunch of barbers who who find you know what i'm saying they get they get uh that's the pleasure of their job is making these niggas look good you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and they counselors too. They yeah, like oh, they like counselors. Right. Therapy session, definitely right. therapy session. Right. And so, so what? Where do you find joy at? Is it is it cutting hair or is it is it DJ? Man, uh, being a barber, man, uh, I like it because uh, to me, it's like it's like going, to, it's like drawing. It's like you know, it's like it's kind of like harmony. Like it's, I'm, it's I'm, artistry. I'm, it's artistry. I'm, re I'm I'm relaxed when I like my brother was an artist. He can draw good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm relaxed. I can draw. Like when I'm cutting hair, I'm thinking about drawing. Like I just cut uh, B Highland, little son, and B Highland hair. Shout out B Highland. Uh, five hundred block. Five hundred block. So, I mean, when I cut hair, man, I'm just it's a, it's like a you know it's kind of like I'm just at peace. I'm relaxing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm enjoying it. But when I'm DJing, I enjoy that too because I'm hyped and I'm getting the crowd hyped and okay, so you know two man? totally different energy. Two, yeah, two, two, totally two, different, two, 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 two totally, totally different, different, energy, right. totally different yeah. vibes. Right. I get it. Right. That's what's up. So, so you be promoting a bunch of events as well. I see you. If it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't chicks, I'm saying on your page, it's flyers. You know what I'm right. saying? It's right. flyers like this event coming. up. I got up. that from Quay, man. Got I got that from who? Quay. If you know, if you notice, if you look at MC Quay page, he don't have. He not. He's only thing he's done doing is promoting. He's yeah. not doing any family. Like he do family stuff, but most of the time he's promoting. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of my game from watching MC Quay. The, you know the goat. He's a legend, man. At what he does, I mean that he has a great work that work ethic. There is nobody really just going hard as him when it comes to you know promoting and marketing. And and you're you know doing I mean, it on, yeah. on on three different pages. 
on three different pages. And so I think the the message the message here is any anybody who watching this, if you're a business owner or influencer or, or artist or or whatever going on, and you got an event coming up, you got a new product, you got a new service, uh, you might want to link up with Gold DJC Money. You know what I'm saying? Because he's extremely active on the social and he promotes events. And he'd probably be glad to share your stuff for a small fee. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, from three different pages. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, <laughs> right. he's going to hit a certain audience that's in the most city area. Right. And so, yeah, so, yeah you, I, I would suggest y'all politic with him. So, so let's jump over. Let's jump over to, to Mo City, the movie for a second, right? Oh, wow. Let's jump to Mo City. It's a good project right there, man. Yeah, so. Still working on that. Man, still working on it. We probably, we passed the halfway mark. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, we right. we probably passed the 60% mark. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, uh, a release coming soon. But before we get there, uh, talk about how you met Mo McCoy. You know, he's the filmmaker. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, 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 and how that led to even Mo City the movie kind of being being thought of and born. Oh uh, man, I met Mo uh shout out Pookie, man, R.P. Pookie. You know what I mean? Uh she was a female when I was uh out promoting. You know okay. what I mean? I met her at a uh, Daiquiri Lounge. You know okay. what I'm saying? And she was like, uh I'm about to I'm about to uh, go to a movie shooting. I was like, uh who? A movie. I say, you know, we I don't we don't I don't know nothing about movies. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yeah, check it out. So I okay, I went over there, I checked it out, and as soon as I got the uh I got some video footage of it too, if okay. you need it. Mo was shooting a video, a movie called The Bear. You know what I'm saying? And okay. uh The Bear, uh him and the guy who was shooting, I guess they they didn't have some they had some they, he said they had some disagreements about something. So I don't know, but it never came out. Okay. But when I got there, he told me to come with, you know, with I, well, no, I got there, I had an all Dicky unit on, all Dicky suit. Mm -hmm. And he said, bro, you know what? I'm gonna make you the uh <laughs> I'm gonna make you the prison. He said, I'm gonna make you the uh the prison. You know, oh, so the prison. you got they put you in the movie. Yeah, same yeah. stuff he on right now. He's still right. on it. Okay. He's still on it, right? He said, I'm gonna make you the prison guard. So he put me in the movie. I'm the prison guard, and then he got uh he got uh uh what's the name that died in the movie Friday? Uh, uh the AJ. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, AJ. AJ, yeah, his brother there. They, they look just alike. Mm -hmm. uh, RPAJ man. Uh, his brother there. I'm I'm working with his brother. Johnson, uh, AJ Johnson. Yeah, yeah. AJ Johnson, brother. They look just like I'm working with him, and he's you know coaching me, telling me what to do, and and man, it was a good experience. But the movie never came out. So, mm -hmm. and that was called the Bear. The Bear. You can look it up online. Uh, it never came out. But then, okay, listen. So this side of the wall, watch y'all look it up. Right this side of the wall, y'all turn that way. Right now we on the this side. Turn this way. No, 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 no. Y'all gonna turn this face this way. Got money go with back, the car doing back, the back, back, back. My homie Mac, million, million ways in, T doing the thing, you me? It's for the jail scene, man. Man, locked up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it for real. What it is, it's your boy Peanut, Brick Fontaine, all the way from Compton, California. We finna make fair and success. Let's go. We need that, man. So then, uh, like seven years later, I stayed in contact with Mo. Over the years, okay. he moved. He moved to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I stayed in contact with you know with Mo with Mo. Oh, so you have been knowing Mo for for a minute. Yeah. Okay. I thought this was a new relationship. <laughs> no, you have been knowing him. Okay, okay. I've been knowing Mo. Yeah. So, and I kept saying, Mo, you know what, bro? I said it a couple times to him. I said, Mo, we need to do a movie because his name is Mo. Mm -hmm. I'm from Mo City. And I was like, we need to do a movie called Mo City. And he was like, you know what? He just finally said, you know what, man? I'm gonna do it. Okay. And he just came out here. So before, so during the seven years, he was making other movies. He was making other movies. I think he's like, this is like fifty something movie. He makes he makes a lot of money right now. He just got through come. He's in he's just Pippin ain't dead right. Yeah. And he's in Chicago making a movie right. Mm -hmm. I think he's back in Vegas now. But he been making movies all over this United States, bro. He's like the next Spike Lee or something. You know what I mean? Hey, hey boys got gold. You know what I'm saying? Got gold. Boys got gold. <laughs> boys got goals, man. And I met him at the right time. It was just right. It was all about timing. I I wish we could have like like you was mentioning to me. I wish we could have had. Uh, see, I just wanted to wake people up, man. I wish we okay, could have had somebody so, that looked so, okay. So, 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 okay. So, been knowing Mo for years, 
And then you mm-hmm. eventually hit him with the the, the, idea, the idea of doing shooting something for the most city. Okay. And so then you say he agreed to it. He agreed to the idea. Right. And then what happened? After he agreed to the idea. After he agreed to the idea, then he came down here with uh well, he got his girlfriend. Well, I don't know if his girlfriend. He got his lady friend, uh, Andrea. Okay. Andrea Tyler to write the script. Okay. She wrote the script, and then as she wrote the script. I'm that's when I'm at uh shout out Big Six Barbecue. I'm at the Big Six Barbecue. Yeah, we at NRG. We we he at the <laughs> Texans tailgate game. Passing out flies to the movie. Oh, so when he... she got the script, so they did more than write the script. Then when she got the script, because the flyers you was posting, like had had a brand on there already, had most city the movie logo, had these things. So they went on and created all that. Yes. Okay. They, they went, went on and created, created all that, that. Okay. and they in Las Vegas doing this. Yeah. So they fly out here. I think they stayed at the cousin house, so I had to get them. We went to my old job, the mm-hmm. Holiday Inn Express. Yeah, the job. I told y'all, boy, we having jobs. <laughs> I had gotten the discount, you know, at the Holiday Inn Express, you know what I'm saying? So they can get in the dough. So they got in the dough. And that's where we shot the movie yeah, at, yeah, right? Yeah. But then Okay, the mo- so hold on, okay. hold on. Okay, so 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 and and cause this I'm, I'm you you doing a good job because right, I'm right. trying in my mind, I'm trying to get to the point of where I finally seen it and was like, hold up, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Right. And so oh, okay. I'm like, and I'm just really getting getting more information on the backstory. Right, right. Okay, so had been had had been in the movie with him before years ago. And then trying to come up to 2022, they ready to finally shoot Mo City the movie. Andrea writes the script. They come down here to to start to start casting and shooting. Right. And that that's the same time that that you you doing the DJing for Big Six Barbecue at the tailgate. Right. Okay. And then I was like, I seen you there, and I was like, you know what? I know I ain't gonna be able to do all this myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Mo, he need you know he needs some help. So the only big homie I know is you. When it comes to to media production, media production, yeah, yeah. and and I, from the hood, and I know you are gonna show love, so that's when I that's when Andrea, me, and Mo came up to your office. Yeah, because well, first and, you hit me when you hit me with the flyer at Big Six. I was I remember being shocked, like, bro, what is this? <laughs> like, who doing the most city movie? <laughs> like, who who you shooting it? Like, who gave you that authority? You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I had all kinds of thoughts. Who yeah. else in this movie? Like, yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, Right. From dude from Vegas, hold on. And so I was like, like, nah, hold on, bro. Let me meet them. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, Bring right, them right. to the office, bro. Right, Let me right, meet them. And right. you did that. Right. Pulled up, pulled up to the office with, with, with Mo McCoy and right. Andrea. Right. And, and that's when I got the scoop. I was like, oh, okay. So it's not a story about the Mo. You just wrote a, a fictional tale. It's kind of like the movie Inglewood. And we're gonna know? set it, right. we're gonna set it in the Mo. And so now you need a bunch of people from Mo City to kind of be in it. It's kind of so, it's kind of like the movie The Wood. The Wood was taped in Inglewood. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I'm saying? So it's just but since his name is Mo, I'm from Mo City. We was like, let's just do a movie called Mo. And I also wanted to kind of wake people up to where eventually a project of somebody actually from Mo City mm-hmm. could actually do a movie called Mo City. See, this is just the beginning. So it could, it could be a Mo City part two. You know what I mean? I just wanted to show people that, hey, we want a movie called Mo City. We, yeah. want, we want that. You know what I mean? So we can wake people up. To and I'm going to tell you how bad the city wanted it. Because once once fire started going circulating and, and we start filming and people start getting in action, everybody, I got a bunch of calls and DMs and people from people who <laughs> they ain't necessarily yeah. want to be in it, but they just wanted to know what it was about. But just wanted to make sure that certain stories was told. Make sure, that, and I was like, bro, this this is not that movie. This is not yeah. uh, this is not the yeah, movie yeah. that's telling all the legendary Mo City stuff. Yeah, this is not, it's it. not it. We're bro. gonna do a documentary next, though. That's you know? Come and that yeah. might not even be called Mo City the movie. It might, it might be, be called, called City, bro, something right. different. Like, right. like who knows? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, because it's a lot that went down in Mo City. A uh, lot, uh, but but this 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 definitely it's too much to even not, say. It's too much to even. You know, put that in a movie. It's so much stuff that happened. So much stories. Like you brought up, you brought up. Uh, we Everybody got about a story. Street military and killer clan earlier, right? Uh, Just and right. man, R.I.P. to R.I.P. to Malik. You know what I'm saying? Man, R.I.P. Uh, nut, man. R.I.P. They so man. R.I.P. Uh, yeah, man. R.I.P. It, to all the legends, man. It, it's so many stories that man. could be told. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's so many different stories from most city that could be told, man. Shout, shout out, to- shout out, Fry, man, too. Uh, Fry, you know he he's the he wanted to put me on Street Military, man, Fry. And my brother and my brother, but Fry, 
he was actually with Street Midtown Ridge Van for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, my brother was too. But Fry was in the Killer Clan. He was in Killer Clan. Shout out to Killer Shout Clan. Shout out Killer Clan, man. The Double K. Shout out Faculty. Shout out Waterboy. He got a new album coming out. Man, Waterboy Check just Waterboy. gave me a single to put on the most of the movie soundtrack. So Waterboy did? Yes, sir. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. man so, Killer so. Clan all day, man. Shout out Lil V. Uh, if you want to get your fence did, holla V. V does the fences, man, from Faculty. You know what I'm saying? So shout out, man. Shout out. And shout out to uh, Fence King, uh, my boy, uh, Swamp Life Records. He's the Okay. Habit. Yeah, he does fences too. Elijah, he does fences too. Out here working, man. Everybody out here getting money, man. man. Y'all, bro, if y'all want to pull up here, politic with your boy. Let's talk, chop it up, man. Y'all know where I'm at, man. We we right in the heart of the moat. Well, Fargo watching building, the Mo, Mo City, City podcast, man. I'm Chuck, man. Let's go, DJ C Money. Uh, we just Texas in here Parkway. chopping it up, talking about this old Mo City stuff, man. So so we was talking about the music. Yeah, I think you should do that. Cause you know a bunch of artists, you know a right. bunch of songs, and there's new music coming out all the time. Right, right. And so that's a good way to probably just kind of come up with some new content. Right, right. And then, and at the same time, bring some music together that people probably won't hear or haven't heard. You know what I'm saying? Right. And another reason I want to do the most of the movie <laughs> is because. I've been trying to get in the movie business for a while, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out Conrad. He just dropped. He just did the Bensonette movie. Uh, Conrad, man, I seen the flyer for that. I seen the yeah, flyer for that. Yeah, yeah. They just did the ben Conrad Black Mike Network and uh and what's his name? Uh, Twins. Uh, they went to Really Ridge. Uh, uh, but they Twins had a lot to do with the uh with, with the, the with, with the, the Bensonette, Bensonette movie too. Okay, but I've been trying to. I've been in they DM like for about two to five years, bro. <laughs> I've been I've been inside. I've been inside. They DM like, bro. Can I get a can I get a uh can I be can I, get a role? Can I get a role? Then I went to one of his uh castings and he didn't even he didn't he give me the role, bro. And I and, and like my home, my homegirl was like, don't take it that, that bad. Say anything that shit. I'm like, to me it is. <laughs> shit. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna you make it I wanna get in. So since I didn't get in it, I said, I'm gonna create, you know what? I'm gonna create my own motherfucking movie. And yeah. I'm gonna call that bitch the Mo City movie, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show them that I can act. You can shit. Act. And and next movie y'all got, put me so, in that motherfucker. So, so, so. <laughs> um, my cursing, I, I, I had to hey, get on you about your acting. Yeah, yeah, my acting, yeah, my acting ain't all that good. Though. Hey, hey, it's getting better though. Hey, for the first time, it's good. For the first time, oh, you know what I'm saying? Shooting the movie, bro, and you was giving us the driest scene. I'm sitting there looking like, bro, <laughs> I need where where is the C money who on IG? <laughs> We need him right now, bro. I don't know what's wrong. I had to get this boy a whole pep talk. Like, uh, Andrea was director was mad because she was like quiet on the set, and I'm like, cut. Hold on, cut. She's like, are you stopping my scene? Cuz, bro, he tripping. And I wow. remember that, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I appreciate that. <laughs> you got me. You got me. You got yeah, me. But good, so, though. so shout out to Bissonette. Look, shout out to Dirty Third Next Generation. Oh man, shout out. Oh uh, man, Dirty shout out to uh, shout out uh, my boy D D Lo. Uh, D Lo, uh, D Lo from O City. He's in that movie. Yeah, D Lo, shout out Propane. Shout out, shout yeah, out, shout right. out. It's a, it's another one. I'm thinking about. Shout out to um, Hero. Uh, Another shout out to Big Bossy man. Uh, his uh, R P R P Bossolini man. R P uh, his dad uh. Yeah, you know, you legendary. know, his dad, yeah, legendary, legendary, his dad, bro. legendary man, legendary uh, Rasta, Rasta man, his dad blessed my game with a lot, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They call him Bub, mm -hmm. Bub, yeah, but but Big Boss Bossolini, he do, he got another album he's coming out with too. So Grape Jelly, ho, yeah, you remember Grape Jelly, ho? Oh, yeah, I, I went on tour with them, man. We went to Dallas and we was doing our thing for a couple of days out there. I'm talking about going hard, man, passing flies out, grinding, man. Yeah, real tight doing our thing. So, yeah. so, so we'll wrap up on the most city, the movie part, because you kind of answered my questions. You have been knowing Mo for some years, talked to him into doing the set. Uh, Andrea wrote the script. You bought it out to the Mo and then just went hard on the promo blast, recruiting people to come yeah. and join and do this and do that. People still hit me talking about, man, they want to be in the movie. Man, we ain't even wrapped up. Bro, you know how many people want that we really need? They really wanted the most city movie. And right, now we got the premiere coming. Gonna be at we're trying to get it at the cinema on Highway Six. So if y'all want to get the premiere tickets, I think they're going for twenty five, twenty five dollars. Uh, we're gonna hit you with the link, and uh, all you gotta do is purchase your ticket. You know what I'm saying? Purchase your ticket, and you're gonna be able to see the movie most city, and it's gonna be on Tubi. Hopefully, it's gonna be on Tubi yeah, coming so, soon. So, so we're working on the trailer right now. So y'all be ready for it. We're working on the trailer. I'm wrapping up the soundtrack. Right. Um, um. Um, and I'll tell you some more stuff off air. You know what I'm saying? Right, cool, cool. Uh, that I'm about that we trying to add to it right now. Had a good call with Mo the other day, and so uh, so it's in motion, man. Boys is looking for hopefully a, a, a summertime release will be the play for that, and then soundtrack will be available. Shout out to all the artists who jumped down. Like I told you, Waterboy sent for the soundtrack, man. Shout I want I want to shout. I want to I want to shout out to you, bro, because you are very passionate about what you do, bro. And I just want to applaud you, bro, because bro, like. 
you want to make Mo City great again, just like B Ray. Shout, to Shout B -Ray. out B Ray. Shout out to uh 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 uh, uh Zilla, uh Smurf Zilla too. Shout out to Bobby Mo Boo. I call him Bobby Mo, but it's mm -hmm. uh King Kane Boo got it. Boo got, got it, Bobby. it. But I just want to say, bro, you put a lot of effort into this with me. And I appreciate that because you was like, uh-uh. I need see if you was doing a movie, and I and I respect you know everybody doing a movie, but you from Mo City, so you mm -hmm. know exactly what you want and how you want it because you from Missouri City, and you know you got a lot more pride. You got you, well, you got pride in this because you, you from know. Mo City, bro. Well, I just I didn't. It was an opportunity. You know it was shout out Mo City Radio too. But yeah, straight up. Well, you say what? For me, it was just opportunity. It was like okay, wait. So this is open casting. Anybody gonna get in it? And and y'all need me to play this kind of role here to do that. It was a no brainer for me because I run a business. I got a whole studio out here. So I get an opportunity to showcase my business. You know what I'm saying? And then from being on the music side of things, it was like it was an opportunity to get the soundtrack. And the soundtrack was the opportunity to to really put it on for the mo. You know what I'm saying? Hey, while we're thinking about it, I want to give a shout out to uh I I'm Amani. She's a, a model, man. Uh she's a, a artist too. They call her superstar Amani. Mm -hmm. She's been doing the thing for a while, man. And uh and I want to give a shout out to Samaki Lee, and uh, and uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, man, my name is Brooke, Brooke Ashley. Okay. Yeah, she go hard too, yeah. but not her. But it's her okay. name. Is, her, it's another. Her name is Superstar Yanni. Okay, okay, no, 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 yeah. no. You talking about? Yeah, she's a model, but uh, also Brooke Ashley and uh, and uh, you know uh, what's her name, Samaki Lee. Shout out to Samaki Lee. Happy birthday! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We share the same day. Yeah, Brooke Ashley. Go DJ Yams. Um, um, go uh, Danielle Yams. Davis. It's a bunch of uh, women who who played big, you know, what I'm saying significant roles right. in the production of most of the movie, uh, for sure. Shout out to Pink. Shout out to uh, shout out uh, to your, uh, your girl. Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Whisper St. James. Whisper St. James. Yeah. What's up? Shout out, Mama. Hey, 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 thanks for letting us. I want to thank her. Mama. I want to thank her for letting for letting us use her uh, her facility, man. You know, what I'm saying, well, for her, we wouldn't even have none of this movie uh, accomplished, straight bro. Up, straight up. And thank her for the food she cooked and all that, bro. She's a, she's a great person, great genuine lady, man. Look, if y'all really want to thank her, go to go to Spotify, search Whisper Saint James, man. She got music out there right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and I'm gonna get up here with politics, y'all can see it for yourself. Uh, and she 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 starring in the movie as, as me and his mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Our stepmama in the movie. So right, so right. so so shout out to her, bro. Mostly the movie, man, coming soon. You know what I'm saying? And so for all y'all who've been asking me how we got to this point, see, money the catalyst. <laughs> he kind of know the filmmaker. He started it. He brought it to my attention. I jumped down with it, and we've been running. Shout out to Leroy the Third. Shout out to to a bunch of people from Most City who who jumped down with it. When 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 the play was in motion, and so so I'm looking yeah, forward out, to being shout done out, with Shout it. out to my dog uh, Rob Bates too, man. Uh, Rob Bates, he doing the uh, you know Robert Bates, oh, Rob yeah. Champ, yeah Champ, Champ, you know Champ. 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 This one's my Champ. Yeah, yes, shout sir. out Champ. I call him Rob B. Yeah, but Champ, yeah Champ, man. It's like, like I said, so much talent, man, in Missouri City, man. Shout out to the uh to uh Ron Reynolds for being in the movie. Man, Ron, the I'm trying Ron to get Reynolds. Ron up here, bro. Yeah, I, can, just, I can get Ron up here. You can get Ron. I can get Ron up. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get on uh. Isaiah Care, I can't never get on the Isaiah Care. Ron, can you get me on the Isaiah Care, man? I see everybody on the Isaiah Care. I can't never get on there, man. I'm trying to get on the Isaiah Care. I'm trying to get on the, on the Isaiah Factor. You hear me? Hey, Isaiah Care, please let me get on the show. Please, man. Please. Just like that. I need you to plug me in with Ron. You I got you. I can plug you. I can plug you in with Ron, bro. I got you. All right, so bro, we didn't talk about most city the movie. We didn't talk about the players. Air freshener, this boy got every fragrance you could think of. Personally, now he got the new ones. The watermelon is cool. It smells like I like the uh, I got the daddy daddy in my car. That's that's the one I like. Yeah, yeah, that's daddy, the one I like the yeah, most. Daddy, 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 bro. Yeah. And I also I make this all natural. I get my stuff from the whole food store, and I mix it with my blend. It's a okay. secret. I can't tell you my secret, but it's my blend. It's so natural. It's all it's natural okay. stuff. Yeah, it ain't like Bam. You spray Bam one time, he gonna the whole car gonna smell like Bam. You know what I mean? But I shout out Bam because he the one. He's he he's actually the one that got me starting to sell after control. I was selling for Bam. You say what? Control. That's what we used to call it. Like back in the day when I was whipping, we used to buy Bam. We used to call it Control. Oh yeah, Bam. Yeah, yeah. Control. What about Dam? I said I Dam too. I used to that rock, damn rock air with Air Freshener. Damn. Yeah, I rock with Dam too. Dam yeah, do that thing. Been on, yeah, boy, it's been on the Air Freshener hustle for, yeah. for a minute. Yeah, they've been doing that thing for me. So that's why I got my concept from Bam and Dam. And then I was like, you know what? We ain't got no Air Freshener in most city, like a home base Air Freshener. So I just went on here and did the Players Air Freshener from the Players Barbershop. As you see, I had made the Players Barbershop fly at first, mm -hmm. but I'm not at Players Barbershop. You ask me why am I I'm going to all these different barbershops? Because they don't want to lower the fee. It they, costs oh, money, the fee. Yeah, the rental fee, bro. It costs money at these barbers. They want you to pay that money. Yeah. I don't have enough money to pay. If you ain't got no clientele, you can't pay 
Them so let me ask you this. Do you think, <laughs> and this ain't no cap, bro, but do you think the reason you don't have a clientele is because you DJing, because you promoting these Right, that's, that's the reason. Because you're not there. So that, that, I'm not there. Not that's, there. The that's the reason. That's the reason. So, I have so much other stuff going on. I got to, like, like, like Whisper St. John, and you told me, I got to stick to one thing. And not I even stick like, to one, but you have to prioritize. Right. Like yeah, this is how I'm gonna true. eat, right? And if I'm if I'm eating like this from cutting hair, then I need to dedicate more time to that. Right. If I'm really getting bags from DJing, then I'm gonna dedicate more time to this. You know what I'm saying? Right, and so right, like right. for me, I, I'm on the website design. Eighty percent of my time at this building is sitting on my computer in there building websites, designing graphics, sending out email campaigns. How much you charge for a website? It depends, bro. On yeah. average. Somewhere between fifteen hundred and three bands, you know what I'm saying. Just depending bands, on the, wow. depending on the how big the site is, what they need to do, how when they need it launched, uh, right. if they got content or not. The biggest problem is people don't be having content. Man, Chuck, I need a site that do this, 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 and that, bro. And I want to do this, but they don't have none of this, 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 right. and that. And so then I got to write this content for you which is cool. I got to go come out with the cameras and take these pictures for you. I need to bring the video camera and shoot this video for you wow. because you want the site to do this, 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 and that, but you don't have that. And wow. so that's why I be three bands because I got to create content. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I got to go out and, <laughs> and and get what's, shoot what's necessary, write what's necessary, right, develop right. your About Us page, interview you so I can we can get the right content, come up with the right keywords so when people go to Google and Yahoo and start searching for what you offer, that your site come up. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, and right. so so I'm putting that level of SEO and effort into these websites. Right. That's why it's three bands. And if you don't want to pay that, that's cool. Because you can go to Wix and build your site for free. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. You, yeah, you can go you do a GoDaddy site for less than a hundred bucks, but it ain't gonna do this, 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 and that. Yeah, <laughs> that, it, it, it ain't gonna have the clicks on and all it's, this. It, it's not gonna be it. optimized so people can find it. Uh -oh. And not just that, um, I'll be doing marketing. So most of my people will get the site. And they'll say, okay, Chuck, manage my social media for me, you know, and I'll do, you know, either 15 posts or 30 posts a month, just mm -hmm. depending on on what they want, what their budget is. Uh, and the same thing with their email blast and all of that. And they website updates. Every month, they'll just send me new pictures and new content. Hey, can you update my site? Bro, you cold, bro. My brother was telling me how cold you was. Oh, like, like, how long you been doing what you do? You say, you say, this is something that self-taught? No, I've been doing digital marketing for 20 years. You went to school for this? Oh. So I went to, I went to, no, no, I didn't. When I first started doing it, I was in a sales position selling websites. And then I got good at selling them. And then it was crazy because they used to give us, uh, they gave us like a little template website we could use to practice on. I beast mode on that mug. And so I was like, that's yeah. live, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. And so that was the first most serious dot com. No, shit. that was the fact they gave me a free domain. They were like, Man, learn how to use the product. And so I built moseries.com. And this was like, this was like in <laughs> Damn, bro. 01. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I'm lying. I'm lying. It wasn't 01. No, yeah, 01, 02. This is something like then. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, right. And so, and so, because the nigga, it wasn't even no Google. Damn, bro. When I got started, it wasn't no Google. There was Damn. Yahoo. Niggas was using. The AOL disc, you know what I'm saying? That's how we got on the internet. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right, it, right. And, and I was learning how to build websites at that point. Wow. And so I just been doing it for a long time. You right. know what I'm saying? And so right. now, that that's just what I do. This podcast and stuff is just a, a venture. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? How, well, what made you move to the Wells Fargo building? Out of all buildings on Texas Parkway, why did you come to the? I ain't trying to turn an interview on you. I'm just asking. <laughs> we in a well, we in a bank, bro. <laughs> Duh, we in the Wells Fargo. Business. So, so that's, that's correction, right? <laughs> this is not the bank. If if we're gonna be all the way, if we're gonna right. keep it all the way greasy, right? Because you met the owner, you just got an application from him to be a janitor. <laughs> he is not Wells Fargo. He is just a venture. He's just a real estate investor oh, who owns so, this building. Hold on, hold Wells on. Fargo pay him rent. What? So let me ask you this. So Wells Fargo just using the name, but this exactly. is not their building. And they, wow. and they they got the naming rights. They the biggest company in here. They got the naming rights, so they oh, get they're the, the biggest company. So they got the name. They got the naming rights. rights, so they get the they get the license their name they and talk the, the building oh, okay. and all that. There, so they got the biggest money. Well, they 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 pay for that. Yeah, they that's in their agreement. But they actually the guy building. He owned it. Yeah, they paying him. <laughs> Yeah, well, the bank is actually, you can go to the bank and, and get money. Because I'm a Wells Fargo. I, I got a card in my 
I'm with Will Fargo. So I can, yeah, Will that's, Fargo just that's the just, convenience of my being. I can go to the, here just like me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I can go to the bank downstairs and go get me some change out of the bank if I need to. That's why yeah. I say it's convenient. I know it's probably convenient for you too. No, exactly. <laughs> it's convenient for me. Well, you had to answer your question. I had the the studio was at JT Crib. I had podcast right. equipment at my spot. I had right. I was having meetings with people for websites and marketing at Starbucks and random places. And so I was like, all right, I'm finna go release the space. And bring everything together. Oh, okay. Like, that's yeah. why you did. That's why you that's went over there. That, that like, makes yeah, sense. So that it looks look real nice too in here, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So I just stopped meeting people at the crib, so right. I could, you know, saying really push the podcast because yeah. I wanted to do that. Right. It's kind of like uh, being a barber. Instead of cutting your garage, you rather go cut at a barber shop. I see what you're saying. Exactly. So that I makes just sense. Created the most spot for that, bro. That makes sense. Most yeah. serious. You know what I'm saying? Most serious. Kept the same. You always been most serious though. I mean, when I was. uh like in ninth grade, we was I had went somewhere on, on West Fuqua and we was popped up at on West Fuqua and you had the trunk up and and then you was like I was like what up Chuck shit most serious I, I mean you always been bro. most serious Chuck for most city most serious for for since most so serious we bro most serious back when man shout out to Tavis Smith uh we used to we used to be suspended not suspended we used to get in trouble and have like after school detention at, at most city middle school. Right. You talking about Tavy on the smoke shop? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. mm -mm. I thought you talking about the smoke shop. Oh. And we would be walking from Mo City Middle School to Deuce Glen, right? Right. And we were screaming Mo Serious then. You what made y'all scream Mo Serious? Because it's serious in Mo City. <laughs> that's literally what's on my shirt. That that was yeah. <laughs> that was that's what we came it's up serious with. Serious in Mo City, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's serious in Mo City. Why? Wow. What, what what make it so serious though, bro? Like, bro, we here? was just young and we was. Crime and we was just doing stuff, yeah. Do that. yeah. And so that, yeah. that's what was serious to us, right? Right, <laughs> right, so, right, right, right. And right. so that's when we start saying it, bro. Wow, and and it's and serious. I know it's a bunch of other people who say it and claim it, and and, and God bless y'all, keep ripping it, right? But right, I know right. that's how long we've been doing it, you right, know what right, I'm saying, right? right exactly. since, since way back then, bro. Uh, OG status, bro. It been true, hey, still. So you've been my OG for a minute, man. I think Hunters Glen one or two, bro. I man, appreciate I to, everything bro. you showed me, man. Bro, it's talk, you. Man. Is 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 B? It's Tusali, right? It's uh, it's it's, it's Taco. It's a, it's a bunch of younger, out, younger cats who was a couple generations under. Me. I got an album coming out too, by the way. Y'all checking them out? Check uh, them out. I, I I just check I personally, out. yeah, try to show so into y'all. I personally yeah. try to be available. I personally try to be big homie. I appreciate because, that too, bro. Because yeah. man, y'all brothers did that for me. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 <laughs> so right, 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 like, right. right. I, if I'm in a position to do so, I'll so I'm like I'm basically like the little homie to you, right? I got you. And then it's up to you. It's up to you to rinse and repeat for the niggas under you. That's what my OG, other OG told me. It's yeah. up to, like you give me the game, but I gotta give it. I gotta pass it down. And see, and see rather if I got a key or anything, I gotta pass the game pass, down. And so the right. key be here, That's and true. I'll go. I'll go spiritual with you for one second. Okay. The Bible talk about sowing seeds, right? Right. And so as you give in game, you just make sure you give it to a uh, fertile ground. Right, so if you was planting seeds, you got ground that's fertile, that's ready to be planted. You got ground that's hard, and it ain't nothing gonna grow there. And you got ground over here that's thorny and problematic, and just problems to deal with. Wow. You don't really want to plant your seeds in the thorny ground or the hard ground because wow. you're wasting your seeds. Wow. They're not gonna plant; they gonna blow away. Meaning, whoever you're talking to, not gonna listen. They're not gonna take heat. They hard headed. Know? They hard headed. Right. But like the, the fertile behind. ground, yeah. the fertile ground, the youngster, dudes, youngie, they, yeah. they willing to listen, they yeah. they pay attention, they they yeah. respectful. Them the ones you want to get the game to because they gonna take it, they gonna let it grow, they'll make they'll be better than they was, and then they'll they'll reproduce <laughs> fruit right and right, give right. game to the generation below them. You and, know what I'm saying? And, so, I, and I appreciate a lot of game. Like I apologize if I ever get you know get upset or whatever. So, you know, I, but that's just like you said, it's trauma. But at the same time, that's uh. I always be, you know, I'm kind of like I be want. I don't really want to be corrected all the time, but don't nobody. Be, I, but I be had to listen to you though, nigga, because you know a lot, bro. <laughs> Y'all understand? Said be calling me with, with all kind of random stuff, and I be like, bro, and so <laughs> that's my bro, man. I love that nigga. Man. And that's the, big bro, man. Understand, bro? Right, right. It's only a handful of people. I'm gonna get that energy. Right, right, right. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Because that's out of love. Right. It's all love because I can't. Right. My business and watch you crash. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But right. be like, no, I'm not gonna let him crash. Bro. Right, 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 right. And and if you mad at me not letting you crash, then that's right. okay. no, no, I appreciate you, bro. I'll <laughs> be appreciate fine you. with that. You know what I'm saying? Cause so that's what's up. I got that's you. That's what's up. I appreciate bro. It. Yeah. For sure, for sure, man. And uh, like I said, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to Tune, man. He showed yeah. me a lot of love. All and right. uh, and I rock with him to this day. 
Bro, man, most city podcast, man. Let's go, DJ C Money, man. I'm Chuck. We ain't here just politicking. I ain't gonna hold you too long because I do got some other stuff to do. Uh, boy, boy, DJ, a barber, boy, promoting events. Got players air freshener on deck. Most city movie coming soon. What else you got? What anything you uh, want to leave with people with? Man, uh, what we got? What we got? We got uh, I want to just say a shout out, man, to. The whole Mo City, man. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something big, man, for Mo City, man. Uh this is just the beginning. But like I say, the movie's coming out. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna like the movie. Uh, you know, and if y'all don't, I don't I'm not tripping. I just wanted to just <laughs> I just wanted to just give give something to Mo City. I am the film producer of the movie, and Mo McCoy is the film director. And Chuck, Mo yeah, Series, yeah, Mo Series is a producer as well. He's a producer as well in this movie. So you know the credits gonna be in there. I am a, uh, I got, I got IMBD credits. So you know, I just wanted to get some. I wanted to get my feet wet. I wanted to, you know, learn. Mm -hmm. Now since I'm learning, I can come back out with some heat. You know what I'm saying? With some more heat. So we just, we just trying to keep going, man. That's all this is. Just learning and keep going. That's basically what it is, man. Because don't, don't be scared to fail. Because like Michael Jordan say, a failure is really not a loss. It's really a win because when you fail, you're gonna come back harder. Oh, am, I, am I right? Am I right, bro? Turn out our ills, our ills stand for lessons, not losses. There you go. Mm -hmm. Lessons, not losses, bro. That's yeah, the game, game right there. Game one on one. Learn this game. Man, that's what's up. Game right. one on one, man. We look here. That's what that is, man. Y'all been tuning to the Mo City podcast, man. Let's go, DJ C Money, man. I'm Chuck, and we out. We out.